Let's jump back to the data access and design section of security and show an often overlooked and misunderstood feature called record level access. Record level access lets us control the editing, deleting, and viewing of records. So that means that a user might log on, let's say they're salespeople, and they can only see the records that they created because the calculation compares the information over here who created it to the current account and says, hey, did you create this? Well, sorry, you, you didn't create it, so you're not going to be able to see it. So there's a calculation dialog attached to this option, and it has a Boolean result. And again, if that is false, then you don't see the record. We're just going to cover the most common thing, which is, did you create the record? But there's many different types of calculations you can put in there to limit viewing of records. So let's go ahead and start by closing and opening this with the limited password of John Mark Osborne in 1234. And we're going to create a new record here. Go to New Customer. Go over here. I don't have access to this area based on other things, right? We can't enter into there. So I'm going to enter it over here. We'll enter a name, Ryan Axelud. And you can see that it's created by John Mark Osborne, but the other ones are created by admin. So we're going to use that to our advantage to test this. So now we'll put in the admin. Now we've got full access and we can see all records, of course. We'll go into Manage Security, enter our password, which is admin1234. Go to our privilege set, data entry, edit it. Go to our custom privileges for records. And we're going to do it on customers, so we're going to choose that. And here's where you see the option. You can limit by record what users can view, edit, or delete, but not in the case of creation. Now we're going to go into the viewing, and either you can view the record or not. It's really the same as the editing and deleting. It's just it's easier to demonstrate this. There's a few other things you have to know about it that are different than editing and deleting. But once you know how to do it here and put a calculation, it's exactly the same thing to limit deleting and things like that. Now, realize it's a Boolean result. So it's either true or false. So we're going to put in this, get account name equals account create. That's either true or false. So what's going to happen is if you created the record when you were logged on, you'll be able to see that record. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it because your account name that's logged on with won't, won't match the record creation information. But this isn't the only calculation you can do in here. This is just a very common one. So we'll click OK, click OK, click OK all the way through, admin, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what we're going to do is close it, open it limited password of John Mark Osborne. And you can see we can see Ryan Axelud, right? We can't see this information because that's just another area of security that we applied here. But look what happens when we go to a record he didn't create it. Everything says no access. Now we really don't want this person, John Mark Osborne, to see these records. It's the only one they should really see is this one and any other one they created. So it's a good idea to go ahead and limit what they can see by using scripts and things like that. Now if you do a find, watch what happens. We'll type in an R, just a simple find. And you notice it only finds one record. There are more first names that begin with R in there. And we'll prove that by going into the admin account. One, two, three, four. This one doesn't have record level access set to it. And we'll do the find by R. And you see we find 11 records, including the one that we created for John Mark Osborne. So if we do some type of find, then we'll be able to limit what they see. And they won't go, oh, what's that record over there? Why am I, can't I see it? Blah, you know, things like that. Now there's one other consideration. If you choose show all records, you're still going to see those no access records if you do that. So we do have that option if you go to custom menus. We have left that option under the customers, show all customers. So we need to change that. So go into manage custom menus, open this up, go to our records, go to show all customers. We'll tell it to perform our script. 
which we'll add right here and call it show all records. And it's going to be very simple. It's just going to be enter find mode, set field, and we'll set the target field of account create to get account name. And we probably should do a quote equals equals here just to make sure two people don't have similar names and we can find both of them. And then perform find. Now it actually wouldn't matter uh, if we found somebody else's stuff because you wouldn't be able to see it because it wouldn't match. But uh, I guess I'm being a little bit extra safe. But this isn't the only type of find you, need, you could do. We could run our overdue invoices. And if we had record level access there, they wouldn't be able to see or they wouldn't find records that they couldn't view. So this is just because this is the, you know, the easiest way to do this find right here. So click OK, click OK, click OK. And I didn't do any error checking because you've done that tons of times before. I don't want to go over that again. You know how to do it. It's easy to do. We're good to go on that. So click OK, click OK, click OK. There we go. Now, the other thing we need, and we'll have to turn off our custom menus right now. The other thing we're going to need is a script that runs on open. Now, we haven't created an open script yet, but what we're going to do is use show all records here. So I'm going to uncheck it so it doesn't show into the menu. And we're going to go into our file options, script triggers, and say on first window open, we'll run that. That way when the person opens it up, they won't see all these records. Makes sense. Works pretty well. Now you may be wondering about open scripts. We haven't covered them yet. And we're going to actually do a whole section on them or at least a half of a section. And so we'll get more into them. But they're pretty easy and we'll explain it. But essentially right now it's just going to run that script on open every time you open the database. And so you'll see what happens this time. If I open it with John Mark Osborne, You'll see it does a find, and we find one record. And so the person goes, okay, well, that's fine. I go to, you know, I can't go to list view right now because of the, the additional uh, layer of security you have on that layout. But, you know, there's only one record here you can see in there. Now, if we open up with admin, you'll see it's going to find everything but that record that we created for Ryan Axelude. So you can see that it's it's a uh, going to add to this. You're going to need more than just this record level access to make a, a good looking feature. You're going to need to make sure you do fines. Um, and, and naturally, the record level access obeys any fines. So that's no big deal. But a find on open. And then you're going to have to change your show all records so it actually does a find uh, rather than just uh, showing all records. Otherwise, you're going to see no access records.